started lifting just like every other bro lifter. And then you started getting surpassed by dudes taking juice. And you realize you're never gonna be the biggest or the most shredded unless you're taking juice. So now you got three options. One, do the same bro lifting that you've always done and stay mostly the same, which is very appealing. Two, take steroids, which is even more appealing. You fucking pervert, get out of here. Or three, walk the righteous path and forfeit your desire to be visually awesome and instead lift heavy weight for the sake of lifting heavier weight. Warning, this is not living the dream. This is choosing to be Woody Allen. Yeah, oh cool bro, you made some good movies, but nobody wants to see them. Give me some, give me some fucking explosions, all right? Give me some, some car chases. Megan Fox getting fucking drilled by a robot. Steroids, some test, D-ball, Anabar, HGH, man. Give me some goddamn Michael Bay, cause I'm seeing this shit in IMAX. Who Max? IMAX! So you still want to be a power lifter, huh? Well, God help you. Okay, I will. Here's how to be a power lifter. You are the metalhead from high school. Grungy and weird, hanging out in the corner of the lunchroom with all your other metalhead friends, playing bloody knuckles, and piercing yourself with fucking paper clips. Cause that's all powerlifting really is. Being weird and hurting yourself for fun. Gotta go to class. AC <sighs> Slater. I'm going to AC later. Power Rangers! Now if you are homeless, and there's no proof that you're not, in fact, there's more proof that you are, cause I've never seen you go home, then you would carry your entire life in a shopping cart. Like a... Like a mobile shanty town. Your gym bag is your shopping cart. Why, why would a bum ever need like an old fax machine? I don't know. Why the fuck would you ever need a belt tightener? To be prepared, that's why. Bring everything you need and own in your gym bag and leave it on the gym floor. Pack the lunch. Go roll out. <sighs> Macros. Oh, got some plastic in there. You do only three main lifts. One is the fucking best, one is the fucking worst, and one is the fucking hardest. Bench, squat, deadlift. This is like playing fuck, Mary Kittle with Emily Rada, whatever the fucking name is, Hillary Clinton, and Serena Williams. And you choose to fuck all three and then marry them. Good luck to you, pal. I wouldn't fuck Hillary Clinton if I was stuck in Benghazi and the only way to get out was to fuck Hillary Clinton. But that's why everyone was stuck there. I got the emails. I got the emails, dog. Circuit <laughs> training. Pass. Now since you're only doing three lifts for the rest of your life, you need to find ways to complicate them with tons of tech and medieval technology. Oh, what am I doing? Now you can do these exercises with even more weight than your body can handle. Locally, Stretchy fabrics and leather belts are no longer just for German sex raves. They can be used to almost literally hold your body together. Fucking nailed it. Next, you want to liberally apply chalk. Now, when I say liberally, I don't mean complain about it while you do it. I mean do it so much that it pisses everyone off. If you haven't caught on by now, the idea is to basically mummify yourself. Why? Because the gym is your tomb. You're gonna die here. 
and never leave. It's like having your jersey retired, except they just hang your corpse from the rafters. Question, why do you pay to go to a gym? Because gyms have equipment. But you're a power lifter, so make sure to purchase your own barbell and pay to store it in the gym next to all the other free barbells. Your barbell is like your lightsaber, except they're all the same color, they weigh the same, and they do exactly the same thing. And you're not a Jedi. More like Bar Bar Binks. Oh, Misa, Bar Bar Binks, Misa, lift away. Have a signature pre-lift setup. This is your touchdown dance, but you haven't scored anything yet. Hit that lift. Feels like I hit it. Pretty sure I hit it. I hit that lift. Now that you finally performed your one rep, it's time to take a well-earned break. Rest for at least five to ten minutes, or long enough to look like you're no longer using the equipment. I'm still on that. Still on that. I'm still using that. Hey! I got, I got like four, four, five, six, seven more on there. Good enough. <sighs> Thank you so much sitting along for pre-30. Now we got to hit my next set. Lastly, log all your PRs into your Instagram account so your 1.5 thousand followers know that you just shattered your previous band-assisted box squat by 1.3 kilograms. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos after my powerlifting meet next Friday at the Culver City Westfield parking lot. Come with your bare knuckle brawlers, you haters. Also, if you want to be a part of Swole Team 6, go to DomLurge.com. You don't even have to kill Osama Bin Laden like I did. I killed him. I did that. You just got to pay 35 bucks or some shit. If you're done with that, you can go over to brosubs.com, buy some Nar Pump. You can kill Osama again. Go back to DomLurge.com and buy the hat. I'm not even going to try to sell you nothing here, alright?